crafty friends welcome to diamond art joy donna here today i wanted to share with you the canvas that i am doing for the empowerment paint along for august hosted by Enza's diamond painting gallery um, i chose a canvas from the indigenous collection which i initially saw and learned about from two fellow YouTubers in the community, um, Dragon's Jewel Creative Gems, that's Tegan, and also Diana Loves Color. They both uh, showed um, a particular canvas and talked about the indigenous collection and it intrigued me. And so I went to the site and um, found some things that I truly like as well. So. I'm anxious to do this canvas for, for the month. Um, so it's called Family. Fortunately, guys, I already unboxed it. <laughs> Normally I don't do that, you know, and um, I just was excited and I wanted to go ahead and get it up. So I have put down the uh, parchment paper on the canvas, but I think you can see it, you know. Uh, this is just washi tape around here. Um, let me show you, can you see? The whole thing it is a 35 by 45 centimeter um, it is a family there's the, the husband the wife and the two children here let's see it's 24 colors um, I don't think there are any uh, special drills in this guy um, no I don't see any special drills but um see how colorful it is it's just very very nice lots of different colors the artist is called her name is Betty uh, Albert and she's from the Cree tribe and um, I want to re read you a little bit about Betty uh, Betty Albert was adopted and raised by French Canadian parents in Northern Ontario. She spent time on Vancouver Island where both of her interests in art and spirituality surfaced. During the next 20 years, she worked with pen and ink and improved her artistic techniques. Circumstances eventually brought her back to her father, discovering her birthright as a Cree Betty then began an art business with her father called, hopefully I get this right, I don't know, uh, Wabimagil Art Studio, which distributes art throughout North America. Like many Cree people, dreams play an important part of her life and her work. She discovered that her dream people were faceless, and this is evident in some of her work. Her art allows the viewer to experience tradition, action, and a deep spirituality. Her use of vibrant acrylic colors begs us to view creation in a new way. Through her painting, Wabimagil, which means white feather, she expresses not only her own growth in spirituality, but also encourages people to experience the peace that she represents in her art. So here you can see the white feathers here, here, and here. There are three kids, three children. I missed this guy right here, sorry. But yeah, um, so white feather. Um, I think it's going to turn out really nice. I'm anxious to get started on this August the 1st see how it comes out so you guys have to stay tuned um let me show you oops right here if you can see that a little bit closer picture looks really nice look at those purples and i've already kitted it up 24 colors. It did not come with stickers, but that's okay. I made my own stickers. And I'm using um, the Elizabeth Ward knockoff version. So, um, 
yeah um looking forward to the event and you know hey if you want to join the event let um enza know that's in this enza's diamond painting gallery yeah just just go to her uh, site let her know that you want to um join or you can let me know too if you want it to in the comments and we'll get you added to the list these events are fun it's a great way to meet people and um, make new friends you know and that's what it's all about at least for me you know i want to um, make friends in the community and um, enjoy the the craft and the art that we do together so guys until next time i hope you um, have great crafting days enjoy yourself and have fun okay i'll see you later bye